Hey, this is MacHeads101, my name is Jake, and in this Java GUI tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to move um, a graphic around with the arrow keys. In this case, it's just going to be a simple um, oval, which is what I'm going to be using for the next couple of tutorials, just because it's easy. And, um, yeah, so, if you didn't watch my last tutorial on just making a move, you should probably watch that first before we learn how to make a move with the arrow keys. So, how we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using something called a key listener. And the action listener um, had one method that it implements, and the key listener has three. So it can detect when a key is pressed, released, or typed. And so we're going to make uh, four methods, an up, down, left, and right. And those are going to change the x and y velocities accordingly so that it will move up, down, left, or right. And we're going to make the key listener detect, like, let's say, if the up key is pressed, to call the up method. So that's how we're going to be doing this. And you see all my imports, javx.swing asterisk, awt, asterisk, um, awt.event, awt.geom. So I'm just going to minimize those. All right. The first thing I want to do is implement two things. And we're going to implement the action listener because we're going to be using a timer and the key listener because we're going to be using key listener, like I just said before. So now in here, we're going to make two things. One is our timer, timer t equals new timer. And every five seconds, it's going to call that action listener. And it's going to make some doubles, which is going to be x, y, velocity x, velocity y, which are going to be the x and y locations. And I'm going to set everything to zero initially, so it'll just be in the top left corner, just kind of chill in there. Next, I'm going to make a constructor. So public second. And in here, I'm going to start the timer dot start and add key listener this which means add this key listener to this um went to this j panel it's extending next set focusable true which means it sets the focus to this which just allows us to really use the key listener and set focus traversal keys enabled False, and what that means is, is like there's some keys that act like bizarre, like the tab key and things, and this is just going to make them act normal by setting focus traversal keys enabled to false. Next, we're going to make the paint component method, um, which allows us to draw graphics on the screen. I went over all this before, so I'm not really going to go over it now. All right, so super dot. Paint component G graphics to D G two equals graphics G. And now we're just gonna G two dot fill new ellipse two D dot double and I'm um I'm going to put an X, Y, and I'll make it 40 by 40. So that's going to draw it to the X and Y coordinates, okay? So now, public void action performed. Action event E. And here, I'm going to repaint so I can redraw this at when the X and Y values become new coordinates and it changes it. Um, and y plus equals velocity y. And now it's from my last tutorial. That just basically changes the um, x coordinates and the y coordinates by adding to them. And then it redraws it at the new coordinates, which is what repaint does. So it's going to do this every five milliseconds. Next, public void up. And watch what I do in here. So velocity y equals neg um, negative 1.5 and velocity x equals zero. This is the up method, and we're gonna call this when the up key is pressed, and so x velocity will be zero, so it's not gonna move left or right, and the y velocity is gonna be negative 1.5, and that's because the values it decrease as you go up, so if I'm decreasing this value, it will move up. So now public uh, void down, Velocity y equals regular 1.5 and velocity x equals 0. Then I have public void um, 
left, and that I'll set velocity x equal to negative 1.5. Well, 0.115, that would have been a little too slow. And velocity y equal to zero because the value to decrease as you go to the left and we don't want up and down movement if we're just moving left in public, void, um, right. And we're gonna have velocity x equal 1.5 and velocity y equal zero. Now, we're going to make three methods and this um, key listener, even if you're only using one of the methods that the key listener has, like I'm only going to be using key pressed, but I still need to write out the key types and key um, release just because that it just has to do with how interfaces work and that's an interface. But just for now, no, we need to type out all three methods. So I'm going to make public void key pressed key event E. All right, so in here, I'm gonna make, here's how our key listener works. Int code equals e dot get key code. Basically, each key has a key code, and what I need to do is I need to store that code and check it against the key code of like the up key, down key, left key, or right key. And key event E, this is E, and so I'm, wherever um, I press a key, a bunch of stuff happens and one of them I can get the key code of that and store it in the variable code. So now I'm going to say if code equals equals and here's how I name a key. All right, key event dot vk underscore then whenever a key like vk underscore a would be the a key and but in this case it would be vk underscore up in all caps. So if key code equals key event dot vk underscore up I'm just going to call the up method. All right, so this is how it works. So essentially, if that just means if up is pressed. So now I'm just going to change it to down and vk underscore key event of vk underscore up down left right. That's just the names of the up down left and right keys. Okay, so right right and left left. I think that's all we have to do here. Let me just check. Oh yeah, I have to implement those other um, public void key um, typed key event e. And I'm, I'm not going to put anything in there, so I'm just going to do it like uh, like this. And public void key uh, released key event e. All right. So now that we have all we need, um, I'm just going to make our window. So J frame F equals new J frame second S equals new second. Set it visible. Set the default close operation. And I'll set the size to 800 by 800 by 600. All right, so now we're gonna run this. All right, so now it's here, sitting in the corner, and if I press this, I press the left key, and I press the down key, Right, down, left, up. Right, and it went off screen just because I didn't make a method to keep it from going off screen. But that is essentially how to move it around with the key listener. If I wanted to make it go faster, I would just increase or decrease technically these values. So like negative three and three and something like that. So thank you for watching MacHeads 101. Subscribe and goodbye.